Hello guys. This is my multi-function Arduino platform. And as you already know, uh, most of you by now. And today we are going to check out the section I have dedicated for the micro sound module sensor right over here. You see, let me put my hand behind it. Maybe you can see it better. Yeah. So this is a digital sensor. In other words, the output it sends is either zero or one. There are several ways you can use to measure the intensity of sound with this module. Uh, all of them are using the digital, uh, a digital measurement method. If they're trying to, re if, if you see in some videos, you will see that you can use it as an an analog sensor, they're lying, you can't. So it's a digital sensor. So, and I already made a, a, a video months ago on how I use it, it but in a very simple method. Uh, I'm going to use it today in a method that I think it is more accurate because I am using the interrupt, one of the interrupt pins to actually detect each time the sensor goes on. As I said, this is a digital sensor and it activates as soon as it detects sounds, it'll send out a one. Uh, and so, but this happens very, very quick. Uh, most of the people you'll see on YouTube, they use time samples to count how many times that the sensor sent out a digital output. The problem is uh, all the times I've seen on these videos, they use the, an, a regular digital pin. And obviously that's going to miss one of the, many of the counts. It, it's just not an accurate way of counting each time this device turns on. I'm going to use the same interrupt pin function that I used on my joystick button, which allows me to, uh, no matter where I am, uh, call the clock menu. Uh, so let's jump into the sketch. Okay guys, so this is the same sketch I've been using for all of the videos on this project since uh, the conclusion of the project obviously and uh, over here as you can see is where I attach the microphone sensor pin to the interrupt function now what that means is that and I, I, I select it on the rising mode now what that means is that each time the micro sensor sends out a signal that signal will be caught by the, the, I'm sorry, by the function that it is calling on that attach interrupt object creation, All right, right over here. Um, it, it calls the mic count function, which I'll show you above, and it increments the mic count variable by one. Uh, here you can see the name of the function is mic count function, that is microphone count function, and as I call it up in over here in the object creation, I call it the mic count function. Now this allows me to more accurately capture all of the signal, all of the signals that are sent by the the module. Now. Uh, as you can see over here, sorry, it's a long code since I can get lost. Now here you go. This is where I call it in case the menu option is number four, and I simply call it. And then I, the function that it calls, as I do with the other cases, is up here, the microphone analysis function, right over here. Right over here. So as you can see, I uh, I increment the re this resets mic max uh, variable is so this for the, you, as you you saw on the uh, on the display that three values appear on the on the LCD display. Now, which values are that? The 
are the mic counts, the actual counts of the moment, the immediate value of the intensity of the sound. Uh, the second value that is displayed is an intermediate, is the, the maximum that the, the microphone has captivated, the maximum intensity, but it deletes after about two seconds. And the third value, which is the all mic max, this variable, is the all of the, the maximum intensity that has been captivated by the sensor, and it stays on the screen until we press the main button to reset it. And uh, so this is, this is how I get the values. So I, the, I, I present the mic count, as I just said, to the screen, and uh, if over here in these conditions, so if the mic, if the immediate intensity is bigger than the mic max, the intermediate value, then it, that that value, the biggest value, will be stored into the intermediate mic intensity uh, variable. Same happens if the mic intermediate variable is higher than the all-time uh, microphone intensity value, then it will be stored on that all-time variable. And so here in this if block is where you see that I reset uh, after 20 counts, the variable over here, after the this variable reset, reset mic max has achieved 20, as you see over here, then that variable will reset it to zero, as you see, as you saw on the screen. Uh, so then I, before I restart the function, I reset the value of the mind count back to zero so that the process can happen all over again. And so the, the, the result value is the, the numbers that you see on the screen, which is the, time, the, the times that the module sent out the signal. So this was how I was able to use the microphone sensor on my platform. Uh, I have uh, until now six different menus on which I do different things, more than six different things. Uh, and so six, seven, because zero also counts. So seven menus on this platform, everything organized. And as you can see from the way I use the microsound, the, the microphone, the microphone sound sensor. Uh, it's pretty easy and user friendly, I'd say. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next episode.